This is how it all begins. You spend a lot of time visualizing this project, making plans, making sure you have the funds to complete it, and then you drive a stake into the planet and establish your first corner. And from here, you can go anywhere. Stewardship is everything. This is an exciting day for us because it's the first day of our barn build. First thing we need to get done is to get our water line laid in because it's below the footings and everything else about the structure. But the first thing you have to do is find it. We marked the ground where we thought it was located and we found a water line, but this one had been abandoned a long time ago. So you just keep digging until finally you locate it. Think you're getting close, you need to use a shovel. The bucket of a backhoe is pretty unforgiving when it comes to finding a water line. You might find it, but it might not be in the shape you want. There are clues in the earth if you know how to look for them. From the original trench, there's usually a vertical column of dirt, slightly different color. You'll usually find the water line directly below that, as we did here. It's a good idea to take a picture of your new water line while the trench is still open. Write on that picture the measurements and the distance from permanent objects in your yard. It'll make it a lot easier to find the next time you have to trench something in. If you can draw out your project, it helps visualize what you're going to do. It also helps to indicate places where you might be having a problem, such as right here. On our original design, we had a milking pit, but the more we thought about it, since we're going to be using bucket milkers, that meant we were going to be carrying full buckets of milk up out of that pit every day. We thought it would be much more convenient to have a flat surface, so rather than putting the milkers down, what we decided to do was to raise the cows up. By doing this, we were also able to narrow up our milking parlor. This enabled us to dedicate two feet that we gained into other areas of the barn and make better use of that space. You'll notice the blue water line coming up through the ground. What we're doing here is just uh, marking it out just roughly so that we kind of can visualize where our walls are going to be once the structure is up. We had some of our equipment already, so it enabled us to get measurements so we knew how much space we needed. The ground is really hard, so it's good to have good equipment just to trench in our plumbing. idea to keep that drawing close by so you can make sure that you're getting things placed right where they need to be. Once that plumbing is laid in, glued together, covered with dirt, and underneath the floor, it's pretty difficult to uh, make any changes at that point. So you want to get it right the first time around. It's always fun to have family around when you're working on home projects, and it never hurts to have someone to help keep the chickens away. Well, we've got a long way to go, but we've got a good start. We sure appreciate you watching and coming and joining us on the Foundation Homestead. Please subscribe or hit that like button. We'd love to have you back as we make progress on our new barn.